I'm in the big leagues, Tony don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dog. Alright, there's people. I don't think I'm robbing the place. Don't film this. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Blood, Sweat and Gears YouTube channel. My name's Stingy Roger and today we're not in my usual filming location. I'm actually on a family holiday down in the south coast of England and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be heading out, seeing what trails I can find. We're right by the seaside so I should be able to get some sick shots that you've just seen in the intro. But yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to head out on the bike now and we'll see what we can get into. Also, I'm going to be doing a bit of a range test to see just how far this battery can take me because I have to commute about 10 miles to the massive nature reserve. So yeah, stay tuned and let's gear up and get out on the bike. Gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find some trails around here. I don't really want to go down onto the beach and disturb everyone. And hopefully behind me is a load of woodland. I mean, it's not too busy down there, but I don't know how this is gonna do in the sand. I'm, I'm trying not to annoy anyone and be respectful for, with everyone around me. But yeah, over here is the Isle of Wight. As you can see, there's two islands on their own down there. I'm gonna see if I can find some trails. I believe down this way is some sort of lake, which might be quite interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna go check that out and see if I can find this place. by the coast. <laughs> so yeah. Park's looking wicked. Summer's coming, that means I can get rid of the front mud guard soon. I know it looks very motoy and people like that, but for me, it just attracts a lot of attention on the trips. Obviously, most of these trails are designed for mountain bikes, so they can get a bit touchy, but, but oh my gosh, look at this view. This is spectacular. I want to kind of try and get down there on that point. But yeah, we'll see. Starting route. Head southwest on Hurst Road. Okay, so what I'm actually doing now is I'm heading to the nearest trails that I can find because I don't actually like riding on the road really. My bike's set up for off road and uh, yeah, I just don't enjoy it. So if you looked at my screen, then you would see that it was almost 10 miles away and 26 minutes. So this is where we're going to get into the proper range testing of this battery. It was 9.5 miles away from where I started, so this is going to be a great range test for this 72 volt, 55 amp power electron cyclops battery. So it's currently still another 8.2 miles, which is quite far for this bike. I'm on 90% charge still though, which is good. So guys, I have done 13.4 miles and I'm still on 74% which is 79 volts. So when I left the house, it actually had 83 volts, um, which is pretty good. I'm now at this massive forest, so hopefully we can find our way into some nice trails and it's not too busy. But I do have to travel 10 miles back again after, so I'll probably leave once I get down to about 50%, but that should give us a good sort of hour or so going along these slower trails like this. Oh, this is actually a footpath, so. I'll come off it as soon as I get an opportunity. Uh, what I'll do is, I'll check back in once I reach a trail. Oh, look at all this scenery, it's beautiful. Yeah, 
there's already some orcas thank you very much wow this is lovely map to make sure I'm going in the right kind of direction so I want to keep trying to bear left that's where I want to go bike feels really dialed at the moment I slackened off my uh, rear shock a bit because I, I know I'm not going to be doing any big big sort of jumps today so and it's so much nicer on this sort of uneven ground because my legs don't have to do as much of the work also guys another tip if you guys have an EXT shock the coil does um, compress in so you'll notice after sort of a few months of having your shock it will really compress and then when you lift your back wheel off the floor the shock will actually have up and down motion which means that when you go over little bumps it, it rattles so make sure you stay up to date on your EXT shock and make sure that the collar doesn't need tightening down a bit more because mine was making this terrible racket last week and I didn't realise until I had the bike on the stand what it actually was but yeah I think we're going to encounter quite a lot of walkers today thank you thank you might have to do some proper enduro in a minute and head off into these, off of these footpaths. Seems to be too many people on these for my liking. So yeah, I'm gonna try and bear the left. Thank you. Thank you. Can't lie guys, I have a wet one. My seat must still be wet from the last time I washed it. Not ideal, but we move. Okay, I think down here is where I want to be going. Wow, look at that house guys. That's amazing. Wow, it's got lovely grounds as well. Jeez. I'd love to live there. I'll grab a quick pick of the bike. <sighs> right. So guys, we are currently 15 0.5 miles in I'm still on 70% although granted I have been taking it easy for the last sort of 10-15 minutes just because I was on a path where there was walkers and I didn't want to cause anyone any stress or you know panic some of the older people the elderly people oh this looks like some sort of center Although someone's been through here on something like a car or a car bike. I have no idea where I'm going. We're on 18 miles. And we're in the gorgeous South England countryside. I'm heading back now, I've got 
It is. You can ask any of the people that have just travelled past. I kind of doubt it. It looks like an off road motor. Karen. So guys, I've just got back from my ride. I have completed a total of 29 miles and I have 75 volts left, which is roughly 50%. So this battery could definitely do 50 miles if you take it easy, or 60 if you take it extra easy. I will say that I was traveling at an average speed of about 50 miles an hour, because I had to go on some long, fast uh, bits of road to get there, but don't recommend doing that. But if you were to sort of cruise around 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, you could probably see 60, 65 miles out of this battery. Yeah, it's phenomenal. If you come here and have a look. So here's from my charge statistics. So 28 miles in an hour and 33 minutes. Max speed 64 miles per hour. As you can see, I didn't actually max out the phase current, but I still used up to 20 kilowatts, which is a lot of power. So yeah, uh, and here you go. 49%. I did turn off the key. You'll see that on a GoPro when I looked at the sea, but that's why that says 24 and not the full. On the nuclear you have a really good um, option which allows you to see the statistics from your last charge which is much better because if you turn the key off when you get off the bike and go and have a drink or something it, it resets but yeah so guys i hope you found today's video useful and interesting uh amazing that 72 volt 55 amp hour battery can do 30 miles and still be on 50 percent charge just just crazy back when i first got my sorrow about four years ago i don't even think i could do 30 miles on the stock battery at all like even with only five kilowatts but yeah so if you enjoyed today's video please leave me a like leave a comment below so you tell me what you want to see next and consider hitting that subscribe button and i'll see you next week thanks for watching Funny, okay okay my bike care with a view in la niggas keep plotting they want me to break down nah i'm trying to hang with your boy on a few